Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadia. And this is a reading for, of course, my Capricorns. So get yourself up in here, sit on down, and receive this message. Okay, let's get straight into it. Y'all, I come to you in prayer since you open up my third eye for my Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or throw up this reading, send them back to where they belong. I share it. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Let's get into it, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. Be careful of any house fires, Capricorn. Be careful of who you allow into your house and allow to cook. Um, but I'm also picking up on it. Be careful of people's food that you're eating. You never know how clean, cleanly the next person is. You never know what this person may practice. Don't eat everybody food and make sure you're turning off the stove and shit before you go to bed. Okay? All right. And for some of you all, if you keep your heater on all night, make sure you put it on top of a surface of some kind that's hard so you don't end up catching your carpet on fire. But anyway, let's see what else you need to know. What is Cap you got a liar that's about to communicate, reach out to you, pop up on you. You know the deal. You know the spiel. Tell me more about this liar. Tell me more about this liar that's about to reach out to Capricorn. Tell me more about this liar that's about to reach out Ooh, to Capricorn. This is somebody who is going to try to buy your love. This is somebody that you already know of. This is an ex that has already previously in the past bought your love, which means like this person may pay bills or they may, you know, always spoil you or it, whatever you want, this person will give you. Um, I feel like this person, since since you all have been apart, I feel like this person has become more obsessed, more addicted, um, more um, missing what they used to have. Like they want that old thing back. They want, they want you back, baby. That's all I got to say is. And then when they reach out to you, that's what they're going to be talking to you about. They're going to be talking to you about trying to start over again, either becoming friends first, whatever, right? But I already feel like Capricorn, you're going to say no. Because no matter what this person buy you or do for you, genuinely, this person don't make you happy. They don't. And it's because they're childish, really childish. But expect this person to reach back out to you, hoping that you tell them yes. Hoping that you will start this cycle over with them. But don't. No. Okay. What else does Capricorn need to know? Be aware of. Know that this person who is trying to come back your way is already in a relationship. And they're not happy there. They're not. They're just wasting their money there. Because like I said, this person likes to buy love. So, if you're wondering, wondering if they're single, no. Are they happy? No. Are they still a trick? Yeah. So if you wanted to play with this person and, you know, do your Capricorn thing, do you, baby. But remember, karma's a bitch. Okay? <laughs> but yeah, this person, look, they will buy your love. They are a person who buys love, okay? But this person wants to let you know that they hid a lot of things from you. This could have been, you know, insecurities this could have been trauma this could have been sexuality this could have been money this could have been children it could have been anything but this is somebody who could not who was scared to show their real face confirmation they were scared to show you the real them because they felt like if you knew the real them that you would just hurt them you would ball their ass up chalk it up to them being a weak trick and move on about your day which Still would have been better than them being a lying sack of shit. And y'all end up breaking up anyway because of childishness or something lacking in the relationship. So either way it goes, it still ended. So I don't get this person's logic at all. Okay? I don't even think they do. But if this person does love you unconditionally. Like, they will never stop loving you. Ever. They will do whatever they got to do to get you back. So if I so for some of you all, if y'all wanted to give this person a chance, make sure that they leave that person that they already with alone. Okay. 
They better do it in front of you while y'all on the phone. Yeah, boss, mother, boss, boss shit. <laughs> yeah, break up with that bitch right now. Break up what they do right now. Okay, yeah. And just expect to be treated nicely. I mean, this person is, is a trick. So, like, anything you want, you're going to get. Mm. But anyway, this person finds you to be very, very intoxicating. And they feel like they learned a spiritual lesson. When they lost you, when y'all broke up, they realize that, damn. <laughs> I lost my blessing. Oh, my God. I've never felt this way with nobody else other than my Capricorn. I need my Capricorn back. For some of you all who are dating new people currently or dating somebody currently, this person already know that and it hurts them. It really do. You and this person talked, you know, when y'all were younger, you know, this could be younger, could be a whole two years ago. I'm just saying this is an XX. This is a, a long ago one that is tr that is literally making their way back to you. But right now they've just been working, you know. Getting their money up, buying new things that they know that they need, as well as things that they know will attract and impress women or men. This is somebody who doesn't take accountability either, so you should know that. You're going to be the bad guy in all the stories that they have told people. But really, the truth is, they were the bad guy. But this person can't stop thinking about you. They can't. They can't. So expect this person to come back trying to trick on you. Like, ain't that good? <laughs> At least they're not trying to trap you with no baby. They just want to buy you everything and hopefully that will impress you enough to allow them to even get back what they once had. But some of you all, I see y'all just accepting all the gifts and keeping this person as a friend. Because <laughs> you don't trust this person. You don't. You know that they're a flirt. They're probably your ear sign. You know that they're flighty. So you don't really even, you're not even taking this person serious, nor have you ever did. So, 7 11 on the clock. Go ahead and look that up. That's a, that's a message for somebody. Mm -hmm. Give me some current love messages for Capricorn. Current love messages for my Capricorns. Current. Ugh. For my Capricorns who are in a relationship currently with somebody, this is somebody that you literally prayed for. They're not selfish. They're very, very codependent, so mean very clingy. They are the jealous type, so they don't play that shit, okay? This is somebody who's been waiting for somebody like you their whole life as well. So I feel like you finally got what you're looking for, okay? Even if it is a little rocky sometimes, this person's value and morals, love that. It's a good person. They're not a player, okay? This is somebody who is the type of person that to get in a relationship to marry. They're, they don't want nobody else. They don't look at nobody else when they're in a relationship. So this makes somebody that you can trust. They make you happy, all right? I feel like you and this person are healing each other because y'all both have been through a lot, especially like trauma-wise, you know, stuff like that. But I feel like you and this person get each other. And that's what you need at the end of the day. Somebody who understands you. And even if they don't understand you, tries to understand you okay this is somebody who's also very romantic and they're very loving like very nurturing okay and that's what you need <laughs> so don't break it off with this person just because there's other options coming back don't do it because these other options are childish these people that are trying to reconcile with you may even have kids okay they may have just recently had a kid but anyway ain't nothing for you there there's no maturity there it's just gifts. Gifts and lies, y'all. Gifts and lies. Mm, 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 mm. And sex. That's it. Gifts, lies, and sex, baby. Anyway, new love for my Capricorn singles. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for Capricorn singles. All right, Capricorn. If you're single, mm, y'all, already, uh, I'm already knowing the outcome of the ones who are single. When this person from the past come back along, trying to trying to trick off and spend all that money, I already see you gonna let that happen, baby. <laughs> you gonna have your hands out. Ooh, give me that, give me that, yeah, give me that, give me that, yeah, give me that, give me that. I already see it. I already see it. For some of you all, 
this person is still finding you. Y'all may have a little bump and grind every, one, every now and then. But at the end of the day, this person finds you to be very attractive. And they're going to give it all to you. And what you're going to do, you're going to take it. But I feel like you're going to keep this person in the friend zone, though. Because you know that they're a player and they're not what you truly want. You just want the gifts. You just want to be admired. But you know that this person is a walking red flag. You know that you can't do nothing with this person for real, for real. You know that it wouldn't be a good idea to get in a relationship with this person for real. Because like I said, they're a flirt. Which means that they're an attention whore. Which means that they're a cheater. And they don't mind paying for it either. That's the that's the gag. Okay? Yeah, this is the type of person that'll buy escort cuckoo. Poom poom. Okay. Know your worth. Don't allow yourself to get swept off your feet and brought back into another toxic cycle with this person. Now, if you want to accept the gifts, by all means, accept the gifts. But don't get in a relationship with this person. Don't do it. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you know who this person is. And they're a snake. A lying, sneaky snake. But you can take the gifts, though. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to know some tea about this person, low key? This person who's who be tricking off and be buying love and stuff and buying and buying coochie, buying dingling. This person be selling their body. They make extra money. By being an escort themselves. Oh. Oh. And that's why you're being told to never settle for less. <laughs> because this is less. But accept them gifts though. Period. <laughs> um, let that peasant do what a peasant does. Yeah. Where's my offerings? Yeah. Okay. Give me some more tea for Capricorn. Give me some more tea for Capricorn. Be careful of this person doing sex magic on YouTube. Okay. Okay. All right. And what? What? This came out again. So currently this person is selling their body in order to get their money up. Because that 9 5 ain't cutting it for them. This person don't have no other hobbies, no other no talents to make them money. So what they use? Their body. Mm -hmm. this person's family is fake this person has smaller lips than you so they probably may be you know of another ethnicity something like that and if they're not of another ethnicity this is somebody who just keeps a lot of secrets they have a lot of secrets baby and one of those secrets is they do scams and fraud like this person is just <sighs> uh uh relationship material no a trick yeah a sugar daddy sugar mama yeah but anything other than that mm -mm. i wouldn't even share a drink with this motherfucker they may end up giving you the bump bump mm -mm. uh-uh let's see what your money gonna be looking like period good luck is on your side and all things capricorn start putting the emotion start putting that shit in motion because you are the motion mm -hmm. give me some more messages on capricorn's money some of the messages take action towards your dreams capricorn like i said you're the motion just put it in motion baby and for some of you all you need to start trying to find you a work and life balance start going out more start having more fun as many hours as you put into your craft you need to put into having fun too life is short okay it's short and let's get you a takeaway message Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. Give me, whoa, a takeaway message for Capricorn. All right. I see y'all. You need to start drinking more water. Get you a massage or even do your own massages, okay? You need to start moving that lymphatic, um, the lymphatic fluids around, okay? That'll help you, from, keep you from being sick all the time as well as keep you limber, okay? And flexible. 
you got some loved ones. Some of these loved ones are people that you no longer fuck with. They're missing you. I bet they do. And then you got the ones that you do deal with. They want to see you. So, I mean, I feel like go be around family at this time. You know, get away from all this toxic shit. Okay? And be proud of yourself, Capricorn. Look at what you've already accomplished. Look at what you've been through. Aren't you proud of you? Because I'm proud of you. But anyway, Capricorn, is what you're reading. I hope that you got everything that you need to know. Know that a trick is on their way back. It's up to you if you want to accept the gifts or not. But don't accept their love offer at all. <laughs> at all. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for the love and support and the donations that you all do send me. I appreciate everything that y'all do for me. And if you want to find me on social media or even get me on a phone call for a personal reading, everything is in my description box below. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Get me a Louis bag if they give you money, y'all. Bye.